Holy. It's supposed to ease congestion and save time for drivers, but residents say this construction on Ring Road could be negatively affecting their quality of life. For some, in not a good way. There it is. Oh. It feels like an earthquake. Kelly Curtin lives in Cougar Ridge near the Ring Road construction site where controlled blasts started late last year. But as it moves closer to their home, it's raised an alarm. You hear not only the, the sound of the blast, but you hear the walls shake and the windows rattle. The blast just started and they're supposed to be doing this for another year. And if the blast continue with this strength, what additional damage will we be able to see and what damage are we not? According to the contractors, since November 2019, they've been using controlled blasting to excavate up to 20 meters of bedrock on the Pascapoo slope. Oh, I actually felt it. A statement from the Office of the Transportation Minister, Rick McIver, says the blasting is generally done Monday to Saturday around 4 p.m., while most residents are still at work, but school has ended for the day. All blasts are monitored and recorded by seismographs adjacent to the properties. To date, 32 detonations have been completed without issue. But Curtin says the blasts have happened at different hours of the day. And in addition to those blasts, she says there's been an increase in rodents and moles that used to call the area home. Oh, oh my God. Yards and landscaping have been destroyed, big mole holes have appeared, and her storage area is filled with rodent feces. It's just we knew the ring road was happening. Fine with that. But we were promised that there wouldn't be material impacts to our homes and our properties. And that's not true. And so I want to understand not only what are they going to do to make us whole, but also what they're going to do to make sure that no further damage is being done. The blasting is currently on hold as a result of Alberta Transportation receiving complaints after a controlled blast on December 17th. Now it's expected the control blast will resume this month. That's following an information session that's happening on January 11th that will address residents' concerns. In Calgary, Jackie Perez, City News.